The most important message is good preparation is crucial. Those responsible for disaster risk management in Germany are not only the Federal Office of Civil Protection and Disaster Assistance, BBK, but above all the local authorities and the operators of critical infrastructures. When facing events such as a power outage or flood, these actors are well prepared and have their individual risk and crisis management procedures. But in order to act reliably and in concert for the benefit of the population, mutual support is needed. After all, working together makes everything easier. What enables government agencies and critical infrastructure operators to manage crises and disasters together in the best possible way? Systematic networking. By doing this, they can benefit from what is referred to as integrated risk management. Ongoing cooperation and exchange of information are important elements in the integrated risk management approach. All this starts long before any crisis builds up. Information is exchanged throughout the whole risk management process. This includes every step from pre-planning, risk analysis and risk evaluation to emergency planning. What could all of this look like in practice? At a round table, different actors come together, for instance the fire department, the local water supplier, the health department as well as the environmental department. They discuss selected scenarios, for example, the disruption of the drinking water supply. Besides exchanging information and providing insights into specific precautionary measures, the integrated risk management approach can serve to answer important questions. Which scenarios do we have to take care of together? Whom do we need to involve in the planning? How can we benefit from each other? Thinking about a potential disruption of the drinking water supply, cooperation might look like this. The water supplier can provide information on which parts of the supply area are likely to be affected. Based on this, the fire department and health department are able to develop solutions together to keep supplying the population and critical infrastructures with drinking water. This can lead to synergistic effects by itself, for example when the fire department and water supplier both adjust their emergency planning and come to an agreement on the transport of drinking water. Thus, integrated risk management not only creates a better mutual understanding, but also provides a structured approach to ensure the exchange of relevant information throughout the risk management process. In this context, it does not matter whether the authorities or the critical infrastructure operators take the first step towards cooperation. The key is linking the different perspectives and fostering cooperation. Let's work together and we will all be better prepared. Further information can be found on bbk.bund.de.